I grew up, my mom taught me about Jesus my whole life. You know, I went to Sunday school, vacation Bible school, memorized Bible verses, got gold stars. Uh, somewhere in my teenage years, I decided that I didn't really want to follow this whole Jesus thing. In fact, what I really wanted to do, uh, I wanted to be a rock star. And at that time, rock stars, you know, believing in Jesus is not what they did. So I decided that I would become an atheist, which I, I don't even know if you can decide that, but that, I just made that decision. Well, later in the next year or so, I... Uh, I went to homeschool for a year. The problem with that is I did not do any schoolwork. So my dad, at the beginning of the next school year, said, son, you can either go back to public school or you can go to your cousin's little Christian school, but homeschool is no longer an option. And I was like, no, please, dad, please, please, dad. I'll do my homework, I promise. He was like, no, that's, that's the way it is. We're not, we're not getting you two years behind. So I decided I would go to the church school because if I went back to the public school, everyone would be like, hey, aren't you the kid that was in our grade last year? And I really didn't want to deal with that. So I go to this church school and I hate it. I think like, cause like I'm so cool, you know, I want to be a rock star. And these were all like nerdy Jesus-y kids with their ties and their haircuts. And I'm like a cool rebel hippie. Well, every day, we had to take 15 minutes and read our Bibles. And that's the only thing we could do. We couldn't read a different book. We couldn't read a book about the Bible. We couldn't sit and meditate. We actually had to have the Bible in front of us and be reading. So time goes by. It's, you know, September, October. And little by little, things were changing inside of me. I didn't really know they were, but I just remember reading the story about Jesus and his crucifixion and thinking, why am I so angry at him? God is good. He, he loves the world. And one day in particular, I was reading in Matthew chapter 16, and Jesus was talking to his disciples, and he said to them, who do men say that I am? And the disciples said, well, some say you're John the Baptist, come back from the dead. Some say you're Elijah or one of the prophets. And then Jesus said to them, who do you say that I am? And Peter answered, you are the Christ, the son of the living God. And as I read that, I knew who Jesus was that he was the Christ, that as much as I wanted to deny it or pretend it wasn't true, he was the Christ, the son of the living God. And then Jesus said to Peter, blessed are you, Peter, for it was not flesh and blood that revealed this to you, but it was the spirit of my father in heaven. And I knew also that it wasn't because I was smarter or had read more, or was better educated, but somehow God chose to open my eyes and allow me to see that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of the living God. And if you haven't decided yet who Jesus is, I encourage you, seek it out. There's no question that is more important in your life than who is Jesus. And it is my prayer that the same spirit that opened my eyes will allow you also to see that he is the Christ, the son of the living God. God bless you.